We're talking to New Zealand Sevens coach Gordon Titchens. Gordon, congratulations. You've just re-signed with New Zealand Rugby through to the 2016 Rio Olympics. So you've been the coach since 1994. What cemented your decision to stay in New Zealand? I think first and foremost is uh, I'm still passionate about the game. I still love the game. Been there a long, long time and been to four Commonwealth Games and uh, really love those experiences as well. And when it was said Sevens was going to the Olympics, I, I had to rethink my career and... Uh, and obviously going through 2016 to me would be the pinnacle of my coaching career and, and it's something that I'd love to, to be part of. So since 1994 you've been the coach, what what is it about uh, the game that makes you so passionate? Well it's just a lot of space, you identify all the skill sets of the players that you're involved with, you see a lot of young talented rugby players coming through and they commit themselves to sevens and which requires having a great work ethic and and more importantly, you know, you give them that real exposure in the international arena. And uh, and a lot of them, and we've seen over the years, go on to become All Blacks. And that also excites me, working with these younger players. You've talked about the Commonwealth Games, but what will uh, inclusion in the Olympics bring to the Sevens game? Well, it's going to hopefully and uh, get a lot more players out there. Certainly the younger players wanting to be involved in the game of Sevens. And, and obviously with them being involved and... And because in, in four years' time they could be playing for New Zealand at the Olympics, and that must be surely must be very very exciting for the, the young rugby player that's that's coming through now that probably normally wouldn't want to be involved in sevens, but there's an opportunity and uh, to go to the Olympics you can't look past that. What will you be looking for in Olympic athletes? Is it the same as you've always done, or is it? I think it's the same as that I've always done. To, to be fair, you know, but both. Um, I mean, it's a great schooling yard, isn't it? The sevens team and being involved in our culture learning all about nutrition and the work ethic and then rugby is another big part of that as well and the exposure but uh, mixing with all the best athletes in the world and, and in a Commonwealth Games sense and also in the Olympic sense and uh, there's nothing better than that and uh, I think it would be a great a dream for a rugby player to also have the opportunity to play rugby at the international level and also be involved in a team to go to the Olympics. Right and for all the fans on allblacks.com in New Zealand and around the world we know about your famous training sessions but what is the secret Gordon to picking talented players? Well, there's, there's a lot of work that's done behind the scenes, I suppose, and, and looking for those players that want to commit themselves to the sevens game. But, um, you know, it's building trust with those players as well and wanting them to get out and play for you. I might smash them at, at certain trainings and uh, they might not enjoy it at the time, but uh, it's probably one of the real secrets and one of the real keys to why we've done well. These players have uh, been mentally challenged and they've accepted that challenge and, and gone on to to, to do wonderful things on the sevens field.